Hi, I'm Rick. I'm sitting in front of the Samsung uh, rear projection uh, screen TV. This is an HLT5076 model and we just got an indication on the screen uh, today and we're going to show you what it says. It, che it says check fan number one and we'll show that to you and what we're going to do is we're going to tear into the back of the, of the uh, television and we're going to show you how to change fan number one. You can see the indication right here, check the fan number one. We're gonna work on that right now. Okay, we've uh, turned the TV around and we've taken all the screws out. Uh, there's a number of screws that go uh, in the back side of this and also on the far left and also on the far right, as well as one screw uh, that holds in the door where you can change the light bulb. So that screw has to come out as well. And the only thing that's left is to pull out two screws here that holds on these metal brackets that screws right into the frame of the television. That helps secure the, the back cover. And so once these come off, the back cover is then loose. And you have to pull this right side, twist it a little bit, and then you can just pivot it out of the way. And what we're looking at now are the, is the fan number one here and the fan number two. So what we'll do is we'll start with the fan number one here. Two screws on the bottom and they screw into a, a small mount there. So we pull out the two screws and the fan comes loose. And the only thing you have to do is disconnect this wire needle nose pliers works best and it comes disconnected and that fan is out and now we're going to work on fan number two a little bit more difficult there's two screws on the top of this shroud here this shroud is going to slide off whenever we get the screws undone so two screws back here and they're phillips and you have to have a short stubby phillips screwdriver the, the uh, bigger one is just too long once those screws come out this shroud will pick up and pull all the way out. Then there's two additional screws, one on the left, one on the right. They need to come out. Once these are out, then we'll be able to pull the fan out and then we'll unplug the fan and replace it. Okay, now we have to lift this bracket up here and the fan will pull out. It's a little bit of a tight fit, but it does pull out. There's the fan. And again, we take our needle nose pliers. We pull out fan, the, the, the wiring on the right side. That's for fan number two. And then we have uh, this rubber mounting around each fan. And then uh, we'll take this off. There's a little hole in that rubber mounting that allows the wires to go through. And then we have the new fans that we will unwrap and we will go ahead and install. Okay, fan number one. When we go to put fan number one in, you'll see it's got the label there. You want that label facing inward because you want the air to blow in on the electronics. So whenever you um, install that make sure you get that correctly because otherwise it won't cool properly we're going to plug it in first and then we're going to take the screws put it into the fan into the mounting bracket there's one There's two, we'll tighten those up. Okay, fan's plugged in, that's all set to go. And now the fan number two, okay, we will take this, uh, slide that wire through. Have that rubber 
that piece of rubber holds the uh, the fan in its place as well as any kind of vibration uh, to keep it uh, vibration free for the light bulb okay and there again the label the label should be facing on the inside so it should look just black whenever you put that in there and that way that way the air is going to flow into and onto the light bulb so from here lift that piece of plastic back up we will work in the, the fan and you'll feel it when it goes into place there's two tabs on each side of the, the screw holes will line up and then we take the wires plug it in until you hear the click and then we have four screws to replace Okay, and then the other two screws are going to hold the shroud on that's going to keep the air flowing properly. And there's a slot on this metal piece here on each side. There's a slot where this shroud will slide down over top of it. And then that'll line up the screw holes. And then we put the screws in the back side here. And the one on the on the left is pretty easy to get to. The one on the right is a little bit more difficult just because there's some other pieces of plastic back there that make it difficult to get to. All right, so all that's in there. The fans are in there. Everything is tightened back up. That's as easy as, as it can get. We put this cover back on, work it back into where it should be. And then we will start replacing the screws. And then we will go on to the, turn the TV around and we will turn it on to make sure that our fan, uh, our fan enunciators do not turn back on. Okay. We've got the TV turned back around. All the screws are back in. That's important. If the, all the screws are not back in, the TV will not turn on. So we hit the on switch and we notice the bottom right hand corner, we don't have the red and green blinking lights, which means that there, that was a fan failure. So we have a normal indication over there and we'll see if those enunciations come up and they are not there. They would have been right there if those fans were not working. So now the fans are working, the TV is good to go. I appreciate you watching. If you um, have any questions, send me an email. And if you wanna subscribe to my page, I put videos on every once in a while about things that you can repair yourself around the house. Thanks again for watching.